a brawl between two inmates left this room blood spattered. Despite the significant blood loss, no weapons were recovered. This was caused by women using their fists. Probably the most common factors for violence would include homosexual type relationships amongst the inmates, personal clashes, theft, and drug debts. We combat it just like they do on the street, but drugs are here. Drugs are in high demand. They're smuggled in through the mail and sometimes even corrupt staff. Inmates who get their hands on drugs automatically have power over their peers and can extort addicts for money, possessions, or favors. The prison suspects Lily is one of the kingpins. She shows her power by having other inmates do as she says. Hey, Cece, are you gonna go get us some water so we can get some ice today and stuff? And I need some ice. They don't nobody eat too much mess with me. Or whatever, but when they do, it's on. Oh, they know better. They know not to with me. <laughs> but, can I talk to them? No, uh, uh, uh. If she does deal drugs, she makes sure not to get caught on camera. She knows the prison watches her. Anytime they hear my name up there, old Stanford, the drugs, involved in drugs, or you don't label me like that because you never found drugs on me and my possession, none of that. So don't keep putting me with drugs, narcotics, and stuff like that. And they always do. Lieutenant, Lieutenant James Neely no. heads the prison's investigative services unit, known as ISU. His mission, curb violence at Valley State by stopping the flow of drugs. Appreciate it. You're welcome. A lot of our violence at Valley State is due to drug debts and basically drug trade period. When inmates accrue a drug debt and can't repay it, um, just like out on the street, um, there's gonna be some violence that ensues. The violence encompasses more than fists. The women get creative when arming themselves. We find a lot of weapons, but uh, usually it's more of a weapon of convenience. Throw a lock in a sock, and it's a simple bludgeoning tool. You can tell by the sound that it makes it's pretty hard. Melt or file a toothbrush, and it slashes and slices. This right here is a slashing weapon. It is a toothbrush with a razor blade melted into the end. Shove screws in a lighter, and it becomes a fatal stabbing device. I've seen women with their faces slashed, uh, arms, just basically all over the body. 